So I made this sea monster from XPS foam and sculpting epoxy putty. Check it out. So in this video I am building a sea monster eating a warship. Starting here with a concept sketch, I am making this build as part of an Instagram challenge, Morrigan's Monster Mayhem. You build a monster before the end of June and show Morrigan's logo a few times. I'll link the description to the other modelers who took part. And this is Morrigan's logo. So to build the framework of the monster, I will cut XPS foam using a hot knife. And glue the blocks together. First impressions of the hot knife is that it's fun to use, although the cut edges are a little ragged. So here I am cutting a groove for the tail fin that I made using Styrene Sheet. And I just glued it in with this type of hardware glue paste thingy. One of the inspirations of the sea monster was the deep sea anglerfish which lures prey with this uh, with a light at the end of a head protrusion. So the next step was to sculpt the skin and to do this I used Milipa, epoxy putty which is beautiful to work with but nasty on the skin. So I'm wearing gloves here as I work. Again, here is Morrigan's logo. So these are toothpicks I cut in half. Then channeling my inner dentist, penetrating the gum and inserting the teeth. this hook type sculpting tool to make scales for the monster. And here is the finished sculpt and Morrigan's logo again. So the warship I built from this Hasegawa 1700 scale model of the ship Kasumi. ship in half and because the kit is built to sit on the water line added the lower hull with balsa wood. When I had finished the build the two parts looked like this with the upper rigging being damaged from being half eaten. The ocean surface I carved the base to be uneven from XPS foam. And then I used air dry clay on top. I followed methods shown on Studio Blue Ocean, a YouTube channel with millions of views of him making these incredible ship models. I will link to him in the description. So that is the base done. Uh, I have painted the monster with a black primer, then add a grey zimmerthal highlight. Same for the ship, and they look like this. 
I then spray painted over top with a white layer using a mask to put stripes on. Then airbrushed the mouth pink through red, referencing photographs of sharks. I dry brushed silver acrylic paint. Then after spray painting a matte clear varnish, I got busy with the oil paint washes. The eyes start lifeless and you keep adding white highlights until... Hello there! And the ship was like this. So with the sea base I sealed it with clear matte varnish, then just painted blue straight over, overspraying different shades of blue. And again, after sealing with another layer of matte varnish, then again got busy with the oil washes. Followed up by a chaser of airbrush sea foam. Now people say cleaning airbrushes is a chore, but I clean them with boiling water, which is kind of cool at times. So here's a montage of the finished build. Thanks for watching right to the end. I'll have a new build every three or four weeks. Subscribe if you're not already. Bye bye.